Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're going to keep working on our video tutorials on Cubase 12 by Steinberg. So um, today we're going to learn how to set up your inputs and your outputs in Cubase. This will let you record audio material and also playback audio material from Cubase. So you can hear it through the speakers or headphones. So let's go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and open Cubase. Uh, I have this uh, project here. It's called My Guitar Project. It has one, two, three, four, five, and six tracks. And as we explained before, we have properly set our interface, in this case, a revelator. Okay, that's my interface. And we do that from the studio setup. Now, um, even though the interface has been properly set, I still have to assign the inputs and the outputs. Okay, this is not a an automatic procedure. You still have to do it. And you need to be diligent enough to remember it. So if we go back to our studio menu, um, instead of going to studio setup, we're going to go to audio connections. Okay, you can also do F4. Okay, you can you can uh, hit that key and it'll open the audio connections. Now audio connections, uh, you can see there's all these tabs, inputs, outputs, group effects, and so on and so forth. Now the inputs and the outputs, that's what we're going to be dealing with today. Now if we go on the inputs, okay, uh, you can see we have this bus name. It's labeled as stereo and it says it's stereo. If we click on the little arrow, we can see left and right, but there's no audio device connected. It says not connected, not connected on the device port. So basically there's no input assigned to this. I do, know, I do know that I have two inputs. Now I have to assign them. How do I do it? Very simple. Uh, well, as you can see, Cubase at least created them as left and right, but it's not connected yet. So if I go to where it says audio device not connected and click on it, it'll give me the option of revelator. So if I click on revelator, check what happens. My left input is now mic one and my right input is mic two. So now I have my inputs properly assigned to Cubase meaning that I can put audio information into the software. Now I need to do the opposite. I need to do the playback, the output, so I can listen to what I recorded. So instead of being in my inputs tab, I can click on my outputs tab. And once again, I have this stereo out. It says speaker stereo. If I click on the little arrow, I can see it already created a left and a right output. But once again, not connected. I have to assign the outputs to be used by Cubase. Once again, if you go to audio device, it says not connected, but if you click on it, it'll give you the option of your interface. In this case, it's the revelator. That's my interface. So if I click on it, check what happens. Now my left, st my left output is assigned to my playback left and my right output is assigned to my playback right channel. So now I can actually play back audio material. Okay. Um, and since I've also have my input set, I can also record. So I can record and I can play back. So that's crucial. Okay. You need to know how to set your interface, how to set your inputs and how to set your outputs. If you can do that, you can at least record and listen to what you recorded audio wise. So that's how you set your inputs and outputs in Cubase. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia and PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.